What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm just gonna show you some books that have sold over the last two or three days. It is the start of textbook season. And that means that books are really starting to fly off the shelf. Now, I'm gonna really just give you a real picture into my business and show you books that I've sold, whether or not I was profitable, I'll even add them to the spreadsheet. You'll kind of see what I've been selling. And I think it'll be a really interesting video. There's not gonna be too much analyzing of like why I bought the book for this much, and why I sold for that. It's simply just like, here's the last two or three days of books that have sold. Did I make money on them? And yeah, we'll see all the weird things that happen, the reimbursements, the returns, all that crazy stuff. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Joji Davenport. I'm a high school chemistry teacher, but I also sell six figures on Amazon through online book arbitrage. That means I buy books on Amazon and eBay and then resell them on Amazon. And you're like, whoa, what? How do you buy a book on Amazon that's all on Amazon? Well, just like when you go thrifting or you go to a library sale, you can, you know, how you can find books that are below market value to sell on Amazon. You can also find books on Amazon that are below market value. And I do that reading HEPA charts. But anyways, we're getting too long in this video. Let's just show you what sold over the last week and let's get to it. Okay, so I'm over here in my Amazon Seller Central account. So first thing I wanna do is to show you the sales over the last seven days. So basically, you know, August just started. This is textbook season. So sold 1100 in August. 4th, 1500 on August 5th, then dipped a little bit lower, about 718 on August 6th, and then recovered about 1100 August 7th, then went up to 2194 on August 8th, then $1,500 yesterday and $1,200 a day. So it's textbook season. I don't normally sell that much in a given day. It's just that books are starting to fly off the shelf at this point. And um, kind of like a normal non-textbook season day is probably like between you know 500 on the low end to like up to 1,000 on the high end. So definitely a little bit more than normal. You can see I have 50 open orders and you can see that my total balance is right at about $4,600 and this is gonna be paid out somewhat soon. So what I'm gonna do is click the total balance breakdown uh, down here, you can see under the settlement period, you can see that the settlement period opened on August 3rd, and it's going to go to basically two weeks from then. So basically, August 17th is when the settlement period is going to end. So this two-week paycheck should be pretty significant, which is going to be awesome. From here, I'm going to go to transaction view, and we're going to look at every single product that I've sold over the last two or three days because I'm a little bit behind. I need to enter those manually into my spreadsheet. And again, I don't do it the best way. I, this is just how I do it. So I'm more than happy to look at or to listen to some of your examples out there a uh, better ways to track and do stuff like that but what we're gonna do is start on a um at the end of eight six because that's kind of the last day that i've tracked today is august 9th and so we'll let's just get into it so the first thing that we're gonna look at is actually this the nepa book so all i'm gonna do is copy that i'm gonna go into my joji 23 three spreadsheet spreadsheet it's gonna be a little bit interesting because I have multiple spreadsheets. I have my own spreadsheet. I had a VA who was helping purchase books that I let go uh, a little while ago. He has a spreadsheet of books that still haven't sold. And then I also have my spreadsheet from the previous year. So I do have books from 2022 that still haven't sold. So again, I'm giving you a deep dive into the business and showing you kind of probably not everything that I should be showing you. But anyways, it doesn't matter, who cares? So this is the book right here. You can see the Nepa book. Looks like this is F to A, so Flipmine to Amazon. That means I found it using Flipmine, but ended up buying it on Amazon. So it looks like I bought it for 1077. What I'm gonna do is just put in the sales date, which is 86 2023, and we sold it for 4550. I'm sorry, it's gonna go back and forth. You're probably not gonna really see me very well because I'm gonna go pretty fast. 3048. So you can see we made a $16 profit on the book, 152% ROI. All right, let's go to the next one. So this is a loose lease of uh, loose is for fundamentals of financial. Looks like it's right here on a financial accounting. Okay, so it looks like we bought this on this would have been uh, April 29th for about $22. So we sold it. It looks like we have multiple copies we sold at 8623 and what did we sell us for 6442 and after fees after fees it could be this value right here 4563 you know 4563 so $19 profit 86% ROI so not as good as the last one but still pretty good let's go look at eye clicker so I sell tons of eye clicker so if you didn't know what an eye clicker is basically uh, an eye clicker is just a I think I even have a box for it. Yeah, iClicker is a little device that students use when they're in a lecture hall. Sometimes a professor says, hey, pop quiz, A, B, C, or D, and this little clicker you can use to connect via, I don't know, Bluetooth, and you can select an answer. So I sell quite a few iClickers out there. So if you ever come across iClickers and you can pick them up for under 10 bucks, then probably a pretty good deal. So let's just go go take a look at the eye clickers. Okay, so right here would be the next eye clicker. So it looks like we sold this one 8623, and we sold this one for... $38.99. That's going to leave us with a $27.48 payout. So we're going to come back here. 
2748. And the actual prep fees on these are actually zero because I prepped myself. So $14 profit on that. So I bought it on eBay for 12, this one particular $12.40. So that's pretty good. All right, the next thing is in search of a homeland. Looks like we sold this for $49.95. Like we have bought this multiple times. So we're gonna go 8623. Took 42 days to sell, sold for $49.95. It looks like we've sold it once before for the same price after fees $34.97, which is basically the same as it was previously. So $34.97. We made a $22 profit on that. So 226% return. So I mean, look at that. Bought a book for nine or for $10, flipped it for 50. Right. It's a great flip. By the way, if you want to know how I find books like that, like how I buy books for under 10 bucks, flip them for 30, 40, 50, make sure you check out the link in the description because basically it's kind of like a secretive sourcing strategy that I've never really shown on my Amazon or on my YouTube channel. So yeah, if you want to get that, use the link down below. Obviously you're going to have to give me your email to get it because I haven't shared on YouTube, right? So it's, it's interesting. I mean, this is a book that I found using that sourcing strategy. And so far on that book, even if the other two copies don't sell, we still made an $18 profit. So even if the other two books that I bought don't sell, still made an $18 profit. So that's cool. All right, we're gonna go back. We have an inventory reimbursement. So what happens there, something along the lines of Amazon lost the book or you know Amazon uh, had a customer reach out to Amazon, they returned it and they didn't send it back to Amazon. I don't know what it is. So you basically see here, it says, you know, there's a reimbursement. It says a customer return. So it's fundamentals of anatomy and physiology. So basically I was reimbursed 7156. So this is probably a customer who bought the book, returned it, but didn't actually return it. So Amazon gave them money back, but actually they might have taken it back if they didn't get it back. In any case, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that we got a reimbursement and we got to find this in the spreadsheet. Okay, so actually I basically sold every single one of these copies except for this last one, which which got returned. So what we're gonna say is on the spreadsheet 8623, and we're gonna say that the reimbursement there was 7156. So we're gonna come back here and we're just gonna go 7156. So made $31 profit on that. That's good. And then what I'm gonna do under comments here is just say that this was reimbursed. There we go. Okay, so now I know if I come back to that. Okay, what else we got? So the next thing is handbooks on disaster research. So we're gonna take a look at this. Looks like we bought this for $20.46 using the Keep It Deals page on June 5th. We're gonna go eight, six. Actually, it might be on eight, seven now. Yeah, we're on eight, seven. I have to go back and change the other ones. So I've been putting eight, six. So it takes 63 days for this to sell uh, for $55.67. So this one's not gonna be as profitable, but $39.13 or $39.13. $15 profit, still 75% ROI. And I mean, this is online book arbitrage. This is online arbitrage. Like in the online arbitrage space, a lot of people's margins are like 15 to 30%. So you know, I would say like 75% margin on, on a book, like for online book arbitrage is really like not that stellar. Like you can get some pretty crazy margins on books. All right, looks like the next thing is actually a refund. So you can see this is refund. Looks like we have a couple refunds here next. So we have a refund for Algebra 1 Teacher Edition. So what I'm going to do is find that in the spreadsheet. And this one sold for 5105 So it's going to be this one that we sold on July 10th. So basically, all I do when I get a refund is just take the date sold, sales price, and proceeds, and I just get rid of it. So now we're back to the negative $21 profit, which means that basically what's going to happen is it's going to get sent back to Amazon. And they're going to have to figure out if it's still sellable. If it is, it goes in, in, into inventory. If it doesn't, it comes back to me. Now, if you're wondering where the spreadsheet came from i have a video right here that you can find on my channel that's all about how to use seller amp and how to sign up with them again uh, i do have an affiliate link for seller amp so i'd appreciate if you use it if you find value but let's just keep going on here so we have amber gold and black for some reason though we don't actually have like we're not actually charged money per se so i'm not sure what's going on with that but basically our account balance didn't change so i'm not really sure it's up with that we have the 1980 cardiac kids that also got reimbursed it looks like we've actually sold all three copies that we had we we're making a 31 dollar profit 21 and a 20 dollar profit so the copy they got refunded was sold for 52 so it's going to be one of these two here so i'm just going to take this one remove that remove that so now again that's going to go back to amazon someone an employee's get inspected half the time when they inspect it they just say it's damaged even though they it's not damaged and then it gets shipped back to my house i have to pay like two or three bucks to get shipped to my house then i have to re-inspect it and then send it back in because most of the time it's good so best case scenario it gets back to amazon it goes back in the inventory worst case scenario they say it's customer damage they charge me money to ship back to my house then i have to inspect it if it is actually damaged then i'm just gonna have to eat it if i can still send it in then i'll send it back in let's go to the next page let's go to page number six here okay so we got the magician within we're gonna 
try to look for this. So it looks like we bought this twice, 53 bucks. We sold it once already, made an $86 profit on the first time. And the second time we sold for a little bit less than the previous time. So 157.29 and the proceeds after fees are 126.50. So put 126.50. So $70 profit. So on this one book, which we found with a keep alert, we made 156 bucks. Everyone, we made $156 off one keep alert. That is pretty insane. And um, if you don't know what keep alerts are, then you can go out and check um, this video here. It's all about how to set keep alerts. All right, let's go to the next thing. So we have crime and criminal justice. So this doesn't show up in my spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go to my, uh, what am, you know, one of my virtual assistant spreadsheets and see if it shows up there. It doesn't show up there. I, oh, hold on, it might show up there. It doesn't show up there. Okay, so let's go to the other spreadsheets that I have. Okay, so it looks like I bought this for $25.05 and I bought this on February 2nd of this year. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put 8723. This spreadsheet's a little bit different because I was tracking up until March, a little bit different. Then I switched over to this new way I'm tracking. So I am not organized at all, everyone. Like you might think I'm organized, but man, somebody who actually is good at book bookkeeping and is organized would just laugh at how bad it is. So 7590 is what this sold for. And after fees, this would be a total of $56 and 61 cents. So what you do is come back and just put where we at 5661. We made $28 profit on that 100 100% return. So awesome. All right, we got a couple more eye clickers. So let's go and do those. Okay, so these are both going to be 8723 and these are going to be 3899 as well. 3899, I think 2748 is probably what. Yeah, they're both 2748 after fees. So 2748, I'm just going to copy this and paste it down there because it's basically two. Again, these don't have a prep fee because I prepped those myself. So about basically a $14 profit, a $12 profit. The way I do it with having so many eye clickers is just first in, first out. So that's the way that I do it. And generally, I'm trying to profit right around like $10 per eye clicker. Now, the one thing you'll notice is a lot of these eye clickers are going to take a while to sell. Like, you know, I bought them a while ago when they're a lot cheaper on eBay. And then, you know, that's kind of, it's like seasonal, right? Obviously during textbook seasons when they sell better. So you buy them in off season, but you have to wait on them for a while. So whether or not you want to do that's up to you. Also, what I will say about the eye clickers is you have to win the buy box in order to really sell them at that price. If you don't win the buy box, you're going to have to sell more cheaply. So it might not be worth it. So I would say test it out and, and just go from there. Okay, so we have Envision Mathematics 2021. I think this is one of the last ones of these that I have, I believe. We've sold this book multiple times. And let's see. Yeah, this is the last one that we have. So we sold this one at 8, 7, 23. It took 36 days to sell. 27.93 was the final sales price. This is a high school textbook, by the way. So after fees, we get 16.54. So we're not making insane profit on this. We're making nine dollars, but I mean, we made about 70 bucks on just one book purchase. So basically, all these were purchased from I think second sale. I bought I think 10 copies. Well, and I, I bought 12 in total. I think I bought like 10 copies at one time from second sale. And they had like a buy four get one free. Super super cheap. All if you want to learn about how to flip high school textbooks, then make sure you check out this interview with Victor Gallegos. He's a really awesome guy and he does seasonal online arbitrage or seasonal online book arbitrage. All right, the next one is, you know, a couple more returns. Pretty sad. This is a complete Bible on consent. So I think I have that actually on an, uh, a DVD spreadsheet, so I won't be able to put that one in. But basically, um, yeah, you can flip cassettes on, on Amazon. I flipped uh, this one cassette, cassette uh, specifically, it's this set multiple times for like 80 to 100 bucks. So even cassettes can it's on Amazon. Again, what we're buying, like I'm buying mostly books, but really what we're buying is data. Like you're looking at Keepa, you're making informed decisions based upon data. So no matter what it is you're selling, whether it's a book, a CD, an album, a vinyl, whatever it is, like you're buying data and you're selling data. So it doesn't really necessarily matter what it is. Just you can read a Keepa chart and you can know if something's undervalued, then that's the way that you would work. So it looks like fundamentals of anatomy and physiology. Okay, so this is it here right now. We sold it for 110.98 and uh, it got returned so i mean it happens it's unfortunate but you know what can we do it goes back into inventory hopefully it sells again okay next book we have is indo european language so we're gonna go ahead and control f that looks like it's not in the joji 23 spreadsheet okay it is in this spreadsheet here for my va so it looks like my va was able to pick this up for six bucks so that would be um, 8 7 23 is when we purchased that item so it took 76 days for that to sell and this sold for 44.98 so awesome pickup. And after fees, that was $30 and 74 cents. So you can see basically that was a $20 profit off that one book. And then what I'm gonna do is I also, so I 
So I pay my uh, virtual assistant a base salary. So I pay um, $400 a month base salary, but then I also pay 7.5% profit commission after Amazon fees, inbound sheet fees, and prep center fees. So basically what I'll do is go back down to the bottom of the spreadsheet here. I'll paste it in here. Again, this is, there's probably so much, there's like a, probably a way better way to do this. This is how I do it. I am by no means a genius. I'm very terrible at spreadsheets. I'm just trying to make my way the best I can. So basically I input that data here and uh, she's just gonna get up seven and a half percent of the profit. Again, that's after Amazon fees, after prep fees and after inbound shipping fees. So basically she makes a $400 monthly salary and then also a seven and a half percent profit commission. So usually she makes like an extra 100 to $150 a month, which means like every month from what she buys, she's profiting us about like, a little bit over a thousand dollars like on average sometimes a lot more depending on see the textbook see like textbook seasons give you a lot more for sure but if you're interested in virtual assistants i actually did make a virtual assistant course with steve rakin for ebay to amazon uh, but the principles can really be applied to what we do here so if you're interested in that then i'll link that down below so that if you're interested in hiring your virtual assistant the first time then you can, you can check that out all right so it looks like we have another eye clicker here so again we're just going to go there so you get to see, I mean, name of the game is replens, right? So I've sold eye clickers tons of times and I still have tons of eye clickers to sell. So we'll say 8723. So it looks like we sold multiple on this day, 3899. It looks like the same price as what they're selling for. After fees, we got 2748. So on that particular one, we'll profit again, zero dollar prep fee because I prepped it myself. I didn't send it to my prep center, eleven dollar fifty cent profit. All right, next book, HVAC training guide level two. Looks like we bought two of these for $25.90. We sold it on August 7th, sold this for $65.16. So not as great of a margin, $46.26, but we still made 66% margin and $17 profit. So I'll take it. Let's go on to the next page, page five. So we still have four more pages to go through. So this video is gonna be super long. I apologize, but I kinda wanna give you a snapshot into kind of what it looks like on the everyday. So uh, market public relations. I don't think that's the right book. It must be over here. That's, okay, I think so. It's over here. So, trade. Okay, it's not that book. Okay, so it must be this book right here. So this sold on 8723 as well. So it took 56 days to sell. 6566. And after fees, that would be 4832. So it looks like that book made a profit of $24.59. So I'm going to copy that. Go over to commissions and... Charles is going to make an additional dollar eighty-four. So really like to build in incentive for your virtual assistants because you don't want to just make a base salary either. Like they also want to make more money. And if you make more money, they should make more money. So let's go on to the next one. So it looks like we have another eye clicker here. You see, I've been selling quite a bit of eye clickers because it is textbook season. So we can go back up to there. It's 7.23 and that one sold for 38.98. Yeah, I'm assuming 27.48 as well. And it looks like... Uh, yeah, 2748. It looks like we also have a, we have two more eye clickers for the same price up there, also for the same uh, payment. So all, all I'm gonna do is just copy that two more times, paste it there, and also make sure that the prep fee for those is zero. Okay, so yeah, I mean, you're making good money. You're making good money on this. Okay, let's go and look at the next thing. Okay, so these are some slippers, which are actually interesting. So back when I was doing uh, some traditional online arbitrage, I basically went to the Miami Sellers Conference. So many of the sellers are just strictly did OA. I decided to dive into it. And um, yeah, this is on a different spreadsheet. It's on a traditional OA spreadsheet. But basically, I bought these, a bunch of these slippers for right around like $5.70 per pair. They've been selling like between 25 to 30. So yeah, we've been making well over 100%, probably close to 200% on every one of those slippers. But I'm kind of getting out of that. Well, I mean, you can see the payouts 18 to 15. So basically paid like five, I think uh, 570 or something per pair. So we're making like we're really tripling our money, which is awesome. But I decided to kind of stop with that for now, just focus on books because I feel like that's what I'm best at and that's what I, I should use my time at. Okay, so we have this exploring book. Looks like we bought this three times on the, with the Keep the Deals page, right around 22 bucks. It sold August 7th, 66 days to sell. Sold for $68.30. And after fees, that would be $50.85. Boom, $25 profit, 117% ROI. 
and we still have two more books. And the good news is that we sold one, even if we didn't sell the other two, we, I mean, we still lost $24, I guess that's not good, but we still have two more to sell. Hopefully they also sell for something similar. Okay, we have anatomy and physiology. Let's see if we can find this somewhere. So it looks like it's from our virtual assistant as well, 8623, it's from Chelsea, and we get 5737. I'm gonna take 105 days to sell. So a lot of these books don't sell quickly. 4156. I think I was right, 4156. Yeah, okay. So again, what I'm gonna do there is take this, so 11, uh, $18 profit. And we'll bring that down here. And Chelsea made an additional dollar forty-one cents on that book. Okay, dental materials. Let's see, did we have that? Looks like we have dental materials here as well. So this would be eight seven twenty-three. It take fifty-six days to sell. Um, and sixty forty-three is what it sold for. And it looks like uh, forty-three forty-seven. So that's a twenty-one dollar profit. Take that. $1.63. All right, print making in the sun. I think this is a book I bought. Yeah, this is a book I bought for $26.82 worth the Keep It Deals page, eight seven twenty three and $69.95. The sales price, the proceeds was $52.26. It's by the way, if you're wondering how the Amazon fees are calculated, it's just the sales price minus what Amazon paid me. So the difference between those two numbers is the fees. And then it also is gonna you know subtract the cost price the prep price, the inbound price, that leaves with a profit. So we made 82% ROI, $22 profit on that book. All right, let's go to the next page. Let's go to page four here. Okay, so we have geometry teaching textbook set. So I've sold this multiple times. So it's a really good set to be on the lookout for. So last time I sold for 150, it looks like we sold it for a little bit less this time. But uh, this is actually sold on 8.8. So we have to change that for 135. So we're gonna put 135 over here and change this to 8.8. And this sold for, but oh, we got $105.30 payout. That, so we made $54 profit on that, 116%. All right. All right, let's look at silent images. We bought this for uh, $12.86. I actually bought it from a fellow uh, person in the space. So, by the way, if you want to consign or if you want to sell books to me, like you have books that are worth north of 40 bucks and you want to sell them to me, let me know. I'd be interested. So, I bought this book from. Um, David for twelve eighty six. We sold this on eight eight twenty three. So I bought it for twelve eighty six. Basically, just dollar. I just averaged it for, for each book. I think it was a little bit different price, but sold for twenty five. And uh, after fees, we'll get fourteen oh five. So we're actually not really making any money on that one book. We're actually, technically losing money on that book. But again, I just averaged out the prices of all those books. So some of these books, uh, let's see, I've actually sold a couple other ones. So you can see those have been profitable. So I, you know, twenty six dollar profit, nineteen dollar profit, three fifty. This one's a little bit. Uh, oh, this one's technically a loss because I averaged it out. And then I believe this is this last one here is um, is going to be the the big winner. I think that one that one can sell for one thirty. So that's kind of where all the money hopefully is going to be made there. Okay, so we're going to go in search of a homeland, and looks like we bought this four times. So, um, oh yeah, we actually we actually, this actually showed up. I mean, at the beginning of the video, so we sold another copy. Eight, eight, and this one actually sold for more money, which is cool. So this one sold for sixty four ninety seven. Thank you, be cool for repricing up, and forty seven seventy three is what we get after that. Okay, cool. So it looks like we have one copy of that left to sell. Even if it doesn't sell, we still profit at sixty five bucks off of one book. That came from Flipmine, Flipmine to Amazon. So that means I found it using Flipmine. Ended up buying the copies on Amazon though. So Flipmine got tons of videos on my YouTube channel if you want to learn how to use Flipmine. Again. If you find the con content helpful, feel free to use the affiliate link. It gives me a kickback, kickback gives you an extended trial. It doesn't cost you anything. It only supports me. Okay, let's look at the essential counselor. Uh, looks like we bought this using the deals page, bought it for 32 bucks, sold on 88.23, and it looks like this sold for 110. And over here, we're gonna put the 86.30 after fees. So it looks like we made a $50 profit on that book, 155% ROI, and that's cool. Let's keep going. Um, the Empowerment Series, let's see if that's here. So this might be on the Virtual Assistant Spreadsheet, it is. So she bought this for $14.63, so what I'm gonna do is put eight, eight twenty-three, and we're gonna go and put $59.78. After fees, that was a paycheck of $42.62. So yeah, okay, profit of 24 bucks. 
we go and copy that and we'll make sure Chelsea gets paid there. Okay, so this video actually turned out way too long. What you can see over here on Amazon is that we still have four pages to go and this video is already like 25, 30 minutes long. So it's too long. I just want to give you a snapshot into kind of the day to day uh, and show you that it is possible to buy stuff on Amazon any day and then resell it on Amazon for a profit. And if you're interested in that, make sure you need to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. That's all I got for you all day. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.